Support for The Bittersweet Life comes from you, our listener. If you join us as a regular donor today, you'll be invited to our virtual live meetup this Saturday, March 12th, 2022. There are links to donate in the show notes. Become a monthly subscriber through Patreon or PayPal, or make a one-time sizable donation, and you'll not only receive two bonus episodes a month, but an invitation to meet with us in person this Saturday, March 12th. Links in the show notes. And my thanks today to our newest Patreon subscriber. Welcome, Joanne. Thank you so much for supporting the show. Hello, I'm Tiffany Parks, and this is A Bittersweet Moment with Katie Sewell. Hello, this is The Bittersweet Life. I'm Katie Sewell, and this is your midweek bittersweet moment. We love hearing from you, and sometimes you're kind enough to send us an audio snapshot of your life. During the pandemic, A lot of you sent in your dispatches for our Day in the Life episodes. Those were episodes 309, 310, and 369. Some of the clips you sent in in those episodes I still think about. And today, I'm happy to share with you this postcard from Casablanca. Hi, Katie and Tiffany. My name is Sarah Gladding, and I have been wanting to write you for the last two months, maybe 10 weeks. I'll explain more about that in a moment. And I have not found the time to sit down and draft an email, but I just listened to episode 311, Long Distance, which I know came out in 2020, and I'm, I'm far behind, but you were talking about going ahead and making the phone call that you've wanted to make or writing the letter to a long distance friend that you've wanted to write. So I thought, let me try recording a voice memo and sending that to you because I haven't written you and I think about it all the time. I found your podcast about nine weeks ago. I have a 10 week old baby and I was reading a roundup of the best podcasts of 2021 and saw yours mentioned in the comment section and it seemed like just the perfect thing for me to listen to. I am an expat. I live in Casablanca, Morocco, and I teach at an international school. So actually the bittersweet moment that followed the long distance episode about teaching Aurelio to read in English and Italian spoke to me so much because I teach first grade and I teach kids to read in English while they're also learning to read in French. I also speak French, so all the different vowels and all of that spoke to me. But so much of your podcast resonates with me. Um, I don't even know where to start, um, which is one thing I've been like composing emails to you in my head, and I, I want to support you on Patreon, and I'm going to make that happen soon. Just as you can imagine, having a 10-week-old baby makes everything really hard, and I have a lot of time to think about the things I want to do, but very little time to actually do them. I also have a two-and-a-half-year-old son, which complicates things. My family and I live in Casablanca, Morocco, We've been here for almost four years, and my husband teaches French. We're both American, but we met in France doing the TAPIF program that Tiffany's niece did in the episode Niece. She talks about it, the teaching assistantship program in France. My husband did it for two years, and I did it for a year. We were both in rural eastern France and had an amazing time, and that's where we met and fell in love, and we moved Back to this, well, we went separately back to the States and he moved home to North Carolina where he got his master's in foreign language education to become a French teacher. And I moved down there to work for an NPR member station, WFDD in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. So Katie, like your journey has spoken to me so much because I worked there for five years. 
I got a job as a listener services coordinator, and it's a small station, so I got to learn everything and then quickly became the membership manager because there was an opening in being a small station if you kind of jump in and do the job. I did it in an interim role for about a year and then got the promotion and did that for four years. And I loved it, and I learned so much, and I loved radio, but it was just all-consuming and exhausting. So when my husband got the opportunity to come teach French in Morocco, we decided to go for it, and I ended up getting my teaching license and subbing at the school, and now I'm a teacher here too. So all of it, everything both of you have done has spoken to me so much, and this has been an exceptionally difficult couple of months for my family. My father-in-law passed away in December, and our baby was born in December, just five days after his grandfather passed away. And my husband has been having a hard time. We have a two and a half year old, like I said, and he's sleeping in the other room with our older son. And I've just been listening to your podcast. <laughs> like I've listened to 311 episodes while I get through this time with the baby. So thank you so much. I would love to talk more with both of you. I feel like I've really gotten to know you. Yeah, I just feel the radio, the bilingual children. We're raising our children bilingual. I don't think I said that. I'm sorry, it's very scattered. Having a newborn does that to you, but my husband speaks only French with our sons and I speak English with them. So just everything, like all the episodes, it's my absolute perfect podcast and it's been the perfect company during this really difficult time. So thank you so much. As someone who worked in membership and fundraising in public radio, I want to support you every time I hear your really good pitches, but I have a baby sleeping on me and so getting my wallet and getting the computer is just too much effort but I promise that I will be supporting you on Patreon and I'm so so grateful for your podcast and I hope to get to know you more or talk if that's possible in the future. Thank you again. Thank you so much for that Sarah. Should you care to send a dispatch from where you are just open your voice memo app and tell us who you are and where you are. And what is catching your attention right now? You could even comment on a recent episode if you like. We'd love to hear from you. We'd love to hear the noises around you, whatever you choose to record. Record yourself and email it to us at bittersweetlifepodcast at gmail.com. And don't be shy. I know you think you hate the sound of your voice, but we don't hate the sound of your voice. We love it. And until next time, this is The Bittersweet Life I'm Katie Sewell. Talk to you soon. Bye.